Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on completing the square for quadratics of the form x squared plus bx plus c where b is odd. Now hopefully you've already seen the video on how you complete the square and it means to take a quadratic expression like this with an x squared term, an x term, a constant term and write it in this form where we have no x squared term, it's just x plus or minus something all squared plus b. So that's the completed square form. And there's nothing different in this video other than it's going to be slightly more awkward because you might remember that we halve the number in front of the x to get it in this form but we're halving an odd number so we're going to have fractions. So that's the only difference here. The method is exactly the same, it's just going be slightly more awkward because of the numbers involved. So let's do what we usually do. Do you remember we halve the coefficient of x? So the number in front of the x, we halve it. And then we open a bracket, we put x, half of minus 3 is minus 3 over 2. You could do it as a decimal, but there's reasons why it might be better to have it as a fraction. So half of minus 3 is minus 3 over 2. Do you remember we close the bracket and have the squared? And then we take whatever this is. We square it and throw it away. So you need to square that and then throw it away. So you subtract it. Now what's negative 3 over 2 all squared? Well firstly note that when you square a negative number, negative times negative is positive, so it's going to be positive. And when we square 3 over 2, 3 over 2 times 3 over 2, well we just square the numerator, square the denominator. So 3 squared is 9 and 2 squared is 4. So we always subtract this because minus 3 over 2 all squared is 9 over 4 and then we subtract whatever that number is. Now we've still got that plus 4 here and we probably want to simplify this so combine these together. Now what I tend to do is I write that 4 as something over 4. So what divided by 4 is 4? Well it's 16. 16 quarters is the same as 4 isn't it? 16 divided by 4 is 4, but now because we've got the same denominator, it allows us to easily combine these numbers here. So we've got x minus 3 over 2 squared, minus 9 plus 16 is 7, so it's positive 7 over 4, and that's the final answer.